<laughs> How you going, mate? Good. How's yourself? Good, man. Good. Haven't surprise, seen, surprise. Yeah, haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> well, I haven't needed to come back, mate. This oh, stuff's been good. working flawlessly. Geez, this is nice and clean. I haven't seen it this, this clean for a long time. No, no, no. So new right. colour. Yeah. All the all the rest of it's all been done up, but yep. um. So yeah. What, so, so what are you bought it here for? What, well, the last thing to do, mate, is for you guys to have a look at the um, gear that is whacked under it. So yep. two and a half years, all this gear's been under here. That's and a I good thought, run. Yep. Yeah. Well. It gets absolutely punished at the park. Like we jump it, yep. do all the crazy stuff that most people probably don't do. Yep. And um, it still drives awesome, but I just thought I'd bring it to you guys so you can give it the once over and yeah, say, yeah. We'll yep. check the bushes and all the bits and pieces, see what sort of carnage you've done with the bits. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some rock rash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, the rear arms have copped a hiding on the rocks. Yep. And They're not too bad. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, no, they've- Mustn't they've, be driving it hard enough, eh? Yeah, they're not bent. <laughs> They're unbendable though, aren't they? So the big, one of the biggest things for me is it's on a car trailer yep. because I don't want to drive it on the road because I'm going to get booked. So I'm hoping that you guys can make a recommendation or yep. you know whatever we got to do to make this thing legal so I can hum down the highway yeah. without fear of getting pulled over. Yeah, well, they've got the off-road pro kit now, so we can do that. So basically what we do, we take, say, this car's ideal for what it is because it's got majority of our gear in it. Yep. So basically your rear long arms, your you got a five link in there, tie rod drag link, your pan arms, all that stuff is all part of those kits. So even though oh, you've yeah. you already got the parts, yeah. basically for us to approve it, we've just got to make sure those parts are still pretty much as new. So in other words, the only real thing that goes wrong on a pan hard rod, if your threads and all that are all still good, yeah. you might have put bushes in it, they're flogged out. So we yep. just rebush it. Yeah, okay. um, things like control arms, it might be fine, might be a torn bush. Yep. So being steel, it's very good in that respect that not much goes wrong with it. So basically, we've got to do things like we've got to have the proper size mud flaps on it. The headlights have got to be correct. We've got to be, obviously this is sitting high, it's probably five, six inches at the moment. Yep. Bring it down to four inch lift. Yep. Because <laughs> four inches is where we can be. We can be 30, selected 35 inch tires. Yeah, right, well, that's so, handy. I just put yep, 35s on yep, it. We'll just check that they comply yep. um, with the regs. Um, yeah, and then basically we just get it, we approve it. We get a outsourced engineer comes in Yep. So we get it all ready. Um, there's a pre-inspection, like say if you're gonna bring your car in, basically you bring it into us, we got the guys here come out with a checklist, that talk to you, say, yep, let's have a look at your vehicle. What do you got on here? What's good, what's bad, what needs to be changed? Yep. This particular vehicle, if it come in, we'd say, oh yeah, mud flaps aren't gonna meet, they're gonna have to be done. Uh, we check your headlights, all that. It's basically almost like a roadworthy you gotta do with yeah, the car, right. combined with our gear in it, and then we can approve it at a yeah. state level. Yeah, perfect. Um, now all this is done with Queensland Transport Department. So it's not a dodgy ass blue plate thing that someone's doing in the backyard. This yep. is legitimately through Queensland Transport yeah, wow. has assisted us to get it across the line. This thing's gonna, it's gonna be legal and it's gonna perform awesome off-road. Mm. So you're still gonna have fun at the, at the park, park showing yeah. off. <laughs> show, yeah. I don't show off, Mick. Yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> so what's our plan from here? We unload it and have a good look at it? Yeah, I reckon you guys, um, yeah, I'll unload it and leave it yep. with your magician so they can yep. weave their magic, mate. And um, yeah, yep. if there's any dramas or oh, anything, I'll tell you what, I got some Unreal Aluminium stuff we could put on this. Yeah, right. And so now we've got billet long arms, which will just bolt straight into there. We've got tie rod drag links. But yeah, we just take them out. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, you're going to yeah. have to show me those. Yeah, so they're Unreal. So they are, yeah, they've been really, really good. Heaps of people have been buying them. Yeah, right. Um, haven't had any problems with them. They've been just proving to be awesome. Yeah, right. And uh, they're legal yep, as legal. well? Yep, they, oh, they come under awesome. the legal banner. Well, I reckon you got to show me what these yeah, look like, mate. Have right. you got some floating around? Yep, we'll go have a look. Be cool. All right, let's go. All right, so here's the goodies. <laughs> I always right. like coming in here, <laughs> eh? All right, so what we've got, I'll show you I'll show you a few things. So obviously standard long arm up there. So it's steel. So that's what I've got now. Yeah. Then we've got now billet 7000 series. Uh, so it's a 7075 alloy, so it's really, really high tensile, really strong. Yep. Um, but huge weight saving. Have a, have a look at this. Give that a go. <laughs> the good thing, when they designed it in here, when Greg, one of the engineers, designed it, the shape of it was designed for the strength. Yeah, so right. So they did a lot of FEA and all that when they compared it to, say, a 50 mil OD bar yep. or a 70 mil or a 60. Um, and that shape there lends itself to be very strong. Yeah, right. Uh, I've got to pull that one down just to feel it. Oh, go for it. Oh, oh it's, it's chalk and cheese. Like, yeah. like it feels 
like it's going to hurt it, if I drop it yeah. on my toe. Whereas that, it, it's where that one is going to be the one that's never going to ever break. Yeah, but that will give it a good run for its money. Yeah, right. Well, I can't wait. So, yep. and they're just exactly the same, straight bolt in. Well, I'm no, I'm no muscle man, but yeah, that one's working. My my, <laughs> my forearm there is going nuts, and this one, like I can, you know, yeah. like it's nothing. Well, then that's you, impressive, man. Then you've got your stainless guard there that bolts on. Yep. So that just goes on to your little your oh, bolts yeah. there. Oh, so that's replaceable yeah, too. So, yeah, so all but, it means is like some people may not want to scratch the alloy part. Yep. So we've made that. If you scratch that, well, you can easily replace that. All right, here's your shiny bits. So as your steering. Aussie gold, mate. Yeah, so steering rods, tie rod. Yep. For your GU. So that's, that's for you and then that'll be your drag link there and then you've got a cool little billet damper bracket that as well looks, goes with them that looks cool man can i, I can yeah go for it yeah like <laughs> so feels hollow like I, look i'm just like it's look like it's a stick like a twig yeah um so same strength same stra as, as normal same. as yep. steel yep same ends is what we run on all our competition stuff yep um this is pretty cool too yep. i so it's billet just yeah, machine just billet. one piece yep. australian made yep. Hey, love it. Absolutely love it. That's cool. We're working on some pretty cool things coming, which probably won't be this year because we got so much on. Yep. Um, we've done the 3D printing and all that of them already, but like your upper control arms, panards and all that, everything will all start coming in billet alloy soon. Yeah, well. So that'll be cool. Yeah. Um, and to see the billet upper control arms on like say a 200 series Land Cruiser, they look unreal. Yeah. yeah. Who would have ever thought so just for the audience, I've known Mick, and I'm, I wheeled with Mick years and years and years ago when he had a V6 Hilux. Oh, that was a long time ago. Fuel cab Hilux at, at Narangba. Yeah. It's all housing estates now. Yeah. Like it was 20 years ago plus yeah. probably. And I remember the first time you did those um, drop the shackles. open jock, yeah, drop shackles yeah, in the back. Yeah, probably here somewhere, I don't know where, but yeah. But it was old. a long, I had an 80 series Land Cruiser. Don't tell anyone yeah. else that. But well, I'm, here we are, look. These ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah drop shackles. So who yeah, would so have that's what started it. who would have thought like twenty odd years ago when we were wheeling in the mud bean rat bags yep. that it had come to this yeah you know, like yeah I often think that it's yeah, it's a crazy it's been a crazy ride <laughs> it's been a crazy yeah, ride because we started off in a little I, well, the side shed in, in the house initially yeah and then I I remember I started the very first car I ever did customer come in and I've got bricks <laughs> I'm stacking bricks on top of bricks with a little jack and I'm jacking this car up trying to change the suspension that I had no idea what I was doing yeah 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 and, but that's what started it. you've got to have a go yeah and that's right gradually went into a 6b12 shed 6b12 shed then I ended up renting a part off the old man shed and just kept growing it and 20 yeah. years later this is where we are so well mate it's an absolute yeah. credit to you guys um, so Australian owned family business right here in Queensland you got to get online and support these guys and put all the superior stuff under your truck and it'll be as cool as mine. <laughs> anyway, thanks right. for watching guys and thank you Mick. Right. It's a pleasure to have the park aligned with Superior yep. and um, we'll have a long, long relationship with these guys and uh, yep. can't wait to get the battle axe back all out right. on the tracks and punish That's this new stuff. Sounds good. <laughs> good.